Yeah, so best in the business, no, nothing's too hard for Dave Gruber. Speaking of best in the business, he's Barry Trippett to kick us off in the second quarter. Well, he could use the uh, shadow of the goalpost here at the moment. That's about perfect. As the ball's bounced in centre field, Lauderdale with the first hurried kick out of the middle there, heading towards Saunders. He taps it on over the top, but it bounces awkwardly. Vanderveld gets a tap back towards uh, Blackbury. He scrubs the left footer out of the fence in towards uh, centre square. Running onto it out there is uh, Miller. Ball goes to uh, ground level there now, and Lauderdale player sets uh, upon uh, Miller, and they'll go to the ground together, and there'll be a bounce down right in the centre circle of the ground. We've just started the second quarter. There's just a one-point difference here. Lauderdale kicked a goal right on the side to be just trailing by one point at quarter time. A hurried kick by Franklin out of that centre square. It goes to the outer side of the ground. There'll be another bounce up here because uh, players have just gone to the ground. The ball's in there somewhere. And it's over toward the interchange, which is on the road side of the ground. We're broadcasting from the uh, the rugby side of the ground as the ball's been uh, tapped down here. And it's uh, Lauderdale going in with a hurry kick towards half forward. Oh, it's off the top of the pack. Could have been a mark there. Ends up with Saunders. Gets a quick hands out to uh, Kananua. And uh, he gets it back in towards Saunders. Tapped over the top here now to Bell Chambers. Twisting and turning. Puts it onto the left boot and kicks uh, to where Smith drops it off the uh, chest, socks it out of the fence and it goes straight to the waiting arms of Robin McManus, just inside 50 broadcasting side of the ground, he fancies himself here that he can get the distance because he's trotted straight back, will kick right on 50, now there's no breeze whatsoever at Windsor Park this afternoon, it's brilliant sunny conditions, not even a cloud in the sky, 17, 18 degrees and he fancies himself as Robin Mc McManus as he comes in to kick to the Exeter end of the ground or the Bastrade end of the ground and here he comes in now, very deliberate over this shot. Kicks just inside 50 by a metre. The distance, I don't know whether it's there or not, it is. But it just slides through to the right, through for a minor score. So we got the close one here at Windsor Park. Scores are even. 3-3-21 three, three, Launceston. 3-3-21 three, three, Lauderdale. Young Jack Tattoo has got the job on uh, McGuinness now, Foz. Yep. With Jake Smith having to man Sigan. So both undersized. And interesting to see if the inside 50s or inside 30s is what Dave Groove's going to look at. <laughs> Makes a uh, makes a difference for Lauderdale, but here you go Launceston. Yellow to handball. They link up now with Dunellen to Bristow. That's the running footy that Lonnie Love gets it to kill Lee Marks close to the boundary line, right in front of the Lauderdale dugout, far side of the ground from where we are. Over to Bristow, pressure kick, but a good one straight to Thorpe. Mitch Thorpe needs to be within range. Now usually when he's on the other side of the ground, he runs round, but he might uh, be forced here to take a, a straight shot at goal. He's a handy inclusion, isn't he, this year, Tim Bristow, coming back yep. from uh, the Waffle. Just such a hard runner. His skills at times look a bit awkward, but he just runs and runs and runs. He had three efforts then on the outer wing. 32 years of age, Premiership player? Yep, definitely. Yep, 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 Premiership player. Through that era they had... Uh, Under Ant Taylor. So Mitch Thorpe is about 10, 15 metres into the boundary line. He'll kick from 45 metres out. Deliberate approach. Here he goes. Might be struggling here for distance and accuracy. He is off to the right. So 3 4 what, 22. Launceston lauded up 3 3 21. Close tussle. Julie Kay joining us at half time, the president of the Lauderdale Footy Club, as she does each year here on City Park Radio. Great supporter of us, as she, uh, is uh, Julie Kay. Off hands. Lauderdale player tackled. Yep, holding the ball. That was against Ethan Wishfulson. Play on with the goal square and some mark. I think that might be Alec Wright. No, in fact, it's James Gillo taking the mark. Great tackle laid there on Ethan Wish Wilson. He's playing his first senior game for nearly two years after suffering uh, terrible injuries to Ethan Wish Wilson. But the quick forward the kick was quickly uh, put forward, and James Gillo lining up from just 15 out directly in front. That's a goal for the Blues. They go back out now to seven point lead, 4 4 28 to 3 3 21. So, a uh, bit of an error there from young Wish Wilson Macri. That's a long absence from the senior team. And he's held on that ball a bit too long. Yeah, it takes a while to get up to speed, doesn't it? Of course, you've come through the D League and it's a lot different stepping up uh, to senior footy. So, um, Launceston, they continue, don't yeah. they? We've seen them here. We've seen them be competitive against good sides. And, uh, yeah, look, they're, they're well ahead at the moment just in terms of movement at the footy. Lauderdale once again slow to start the second quarter. Four and a half minutes into the second quarter, in fact. And uh, the ball was put to turf again by the field umpire. And Leadham gets a clear tap down. Even if Timor 
direction. He's tackled beautifully there by the Ruckman in Smith, but somehow he gets a hurried half a kick out of there towards uh, the half forward line. Taken here though by Baker, who gets the handball out back towards Smith. The big fella can't quite get down to it. Fletcher Seymour taps it along the ground. It's tunnel ball at the moment, and then a pack forms. The umpire was about to blow the whistle, and then the ball popped out, so he allowed it to uh, come out, and I think a free kick for tripping. Yep. May have gone toward the uh, Lauderdale player, right in the centre of the ground there. And he takes it quickly now to uh, Raglione, and he kicks it uh, towards the uh, wing on the outer side. Chip over the top ends up with Gilby. Gilby's too far out to score. He's about 80 metres from goal, so he looks what's on offer. Kicks it deep in towards the forward pocket. He's looking for Siggins down there. And uh, the big fella over the back stood his ground and took a good timely mark about uh, 25, 30 metres from goal deep in the forward pocket. There's another player they can push forward, Macca Siggins. Well, he, he's, uh, he's rucking, rucking and then uh, sneaking forward as well. So, of course, the uh, former Adelaide Crow and uh, Geelong uh, recruit is... Uh, Came back to Clarence and uh, had a bit of a falling out with Darren Winter, but now has made his way to Lauderdale, or back to Lauderdale. And uh, it's been good for his footy, he said. He's happy to get back with his mates, even though he went to Clarence. He still uh, was very much mates with a lot of these uh, Lauderdale uh, players. And uh, he said he, yeah, he's having a great uh, great time down at Lauderdale. Well, the ball in the meantime just uh, fell through for a behind. It was kicked out by Jacob Boyd. It's uh, just outside the Blues' defensive uh, half-back line. But uh, Lauderdale have the ball with the chain of handballs. Ends up there with Elliott. Gets it out a little bit wider. The kick comes back towards uh, the half-forward. Vanderveld in front, as a true uh, half-back should do. Just thumped it towards ground level. Taken by Sutton, though, is developing into a good player for Lauderdale. Kicks it back inside 50. Smith's in front, tries to tap it down. Could be a free kick for too high to the Lauderdale play, but the umpire allows it to play on and go to ground. And there'll be a bounce down 20 metres out directly in front. Oh. That was a touch lucky, Basil. He, no, he ducked. He, he ducked. ducked. He ducked. Yeah, he he ducked. ducked. Duck, 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 duck. He ducked. Duck, call ben the umpire. It. Okay. Ben McGinnis. Anyway, Launceston with the numbers, trying to feed it out of the fence. But Nellon couldn't quite find the handle on the footy. It's going towards the boundary line. I think that's where it'll end up, out of bounds. It will. Boundary umpire in perfect position adjudicated that about 30 metres around from the goal line and uh, Lauderdale attacking the Exeter in here in this the the second term from the tap in it's uh, Smith tries to tap it into the path of a running player it's been socket off the ground but it uh, hits the two or three players right on the goal line and ricochets off and through for a minor score so Lauderdale now peppering away at the goal of the three goals 5-23 Launceston a 4-4-28 we've played seven and three quarter minutes into the second turn. The kick comes out from Smith to Miller Hodge, right in front of the Lonnie club rooms over there. We switch it back to the near side here to Jack Tuttle. Takes the mark. Looking for an outlet here. Most options are covered. He might have to go long up the line. He is now. Target here is right. Oh yes, he does take a good mark. A second grab. Wheels around now, that's right. Kicks the advantage here of Poffman. What a kick that is. Didn't have to break straight. He drops the mark though. Poffman has to kick quickly. And just kicks it out of bounds. The yeah, little bar players want deliberate, but he was pressured off the kick. So the boundary throw in. About 80 metres around from the Launceston goal. Inside 50 just caught it to a piece. Marks inside 50. Four Lauderdale, two to Launceston this quarter. The uh, tap out the Carl Modern Hill there, no free kick, it's played late. They might pay advantage here as the player's gone on. Yep. Little kick comes in here towards Kerry Muir. Takes the mark, sips over it, slipped around the foot today here at Windsor Park. Nice kick, delivers to McManus, who takes the mark. Couple kicks out from goal. Casey Brown on top of him, needs to be careful. McManus. A lot of calls here, and Reese Sutton, as Baz said, is shaking up his good plays, and a lot of it. Leans back and a kick inside, 50 on the chest there. And that's uh, Ben McGinnis once again. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be hard on young Ethan Conway, but he's just come back on the ground, and he's gone to match up on McGinnis, and uh, he's taken another mark. Mind you, uh, the kick there was pretty good from Sutton. Yeah, he's been good, good Sutton. Way. I said those wingers are really yeah. important, him and McManus. They're both lively types. They've missed a few, few shots they should have taken Lauderdale, so won't keep missing them, I don't think. There's a mullet happening here for Ben McGuinness. Skips into his stride now. Left foot, 35 out, 45 degree angle. Umpire does not move. 
And Lauderdale hit the track for the first time here today in the park. 4 5 29. Launceston 4 4 28. Two goals now to Ben McGuinness. Which of the McGuinness boys was drafted, Mac? Just remind me. Uh, Josh McGuinness. Josh, that's right. Yeah, Josh McGuinness went to the Brisbane Lions. And young Matt, of course, you mentioned playing the Devils quite soon. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, 320, I think they yep. get underway as a curtain raiser to Sydney and the Kangaroos down at uh, Blunston Arena. So, a pretty good family, the McGuinness boys. Pretty important part of the game here, isn't it? Uh, Lord Lauderdale just starting to assert a little bit of supremacy. 4 5 29, Lord Lauderdale launches 4 4 28, 10 and a half minutes in. Here's Barry Trippett for City Park Radio Sport. Thanks for our sponsors, Telstra Stores, Quadrant, and Kings Meadows. Open Sundays, 11 till 3. Perfect conditions at Windsor Park, and Smith gets a tap down and could have got interfered with uh, by the opposing Ruckman. The umpire allowed it to go on, and guess what? There'll be a second rebound or a throw up, as so often happens. And it's about to happen again. The umpire comes in and just sorts a couple out, having a little bit of a push and shove at one another. Best way to fix that, umpire, is a free kick. That'll stop it. There's the handball. Goes down there towards Baker. Baker gets it out uh, quickly with a left boot and goes in towards half forward. But uh, Launceston, with the numbers dropping across the back there, was Ryan Turrell. And he marks in the last line of defence for the Blues. He kicks an absolute beauty. And it goes straight out there to where uh, Casey Brown shrugs a couple of players off and handballs backwards, gives it back to uh, Fletcher Seymour. He's forced to go backward also. Jacob Boyd marks uh, on half back. That's where I'd like to see Casey Brown. He's got the Jets. Just take him on. There was no one between him and the other end of the square. Better put the Jets down. Just get it and kick it long inside uh, forward 50. But he did his little circle as he does sometimes. Use your pace, mate. That's what you've got. Put your foot down and off you go. Tips over to Joby Harper, who steadies the ship a little bit on half back there for the Blues. Kicks deep towards the half forward line. There's a Lauderdale uh, stretch of arms. Goes high into the air there. And uh, Rich Sutton marks on half back for Lauderdale. Now he's got very little on offer. He doesn't really know what to do and his kick just floats in the air towards oh. there. Almost a good uh, Lauderdale mark but the ball hits the ground and right in front of interchange and uh, I think it's found its way across the boundary line. There'll be a throw in right in front of the interchange on the road side of the ground. That was Wiggins who uh, got up on top of his uh, fellow number 11 in J.B. Harper. That's where Aaron Richter Solder took a big grab the other week, Baz. That's it. Indeed, that exactly the same spot. And uh, the Ruckman, they're both getting their hands on the ball at most... Uh, throw ends but the ball's not being uh, directly given to a teammate and again there'll be a, a second bounce up from that throw in it's on centre wing far side of the ground at Windsor Park beautiful sunny conditions ball goes to ground Donnellan can't uh, get boot the ball quick hands out ends up there with Miller he kicks it on the right boot for Launceston in towards half forward to Bristow he gets the handball off and he gets it quickly on to right, right with the left boot, then scrubs it in the uh, Thorpe direction. It appears to be being held with one hand, but he goes to the ground, throws it back out. I think, yep. yes, and the umpire says that is a throw. So there will be a relieving free kick for Lauderdale in the last line of defence. The blonde-headed Edward Trupp who gets it sideways. Mark taken there by Bell Chambers. The great goal in the first quarter. So a few options. Up here looking for Elliott. He takes the mark. On the centre wing, plays on, he's in trouble now. Tackled by two, he gets the handball away. They'll get out of this through Wiggins. Wiggins gets around Vanderbilt, keeps the kick low. They're looking for Hill. Taken by Bell Chambers. Into a boundary throw in. Still might have been a bit unlucky there. There was a touch and a hold there from Trump. And keep an eye on Thorpe there. He's holding that left hand of his. Back in the day, boys, would you ever have seen six foot three, six foot four blokes? He's one of them. Play on ball as bad. Yep. They're playing as on ball as Harper and Siggins are both playing as uh, Ruck Rovers. Wouldn't have seen that in your day, Bazza. No, they were five foot ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kick smothered from Brown. Gillo coming through hard was Miller. He releases the handball to Danell and they're forcing it forward somehow. Edison couldn't take it. Perkins in there. They are taken by Killy with a bit of dash. Little chip kick to the advantage of Thorpe. Well done there by Trump. It's a good battle. Thorpe will kick it off the ground. Skews off the left side, but he'll get distance. He'll go out of bounds. And Edward Trump, he's only a slight player, Macca, but he's doing okay at the moment on Thorpe. Yeah, well, they've made that move, haven't they? Alex Hill's uh, playing up. They're obviously worried about the agility of Hill, I'd say. Normally takes Thorpe over the last few years. Just struggling to connect with their forwards at the moment are uh, the Lauderdale midfielders. Just it's either kicking short or going too high. Just struggling to kick the footy at the moment, the Bombers. Thorpe, front position. Knocks it down here, trying to find Taylor. Oh. Now, notice Mitch Thorpe with the glass. He is wearing a glove on the left hand. I did hear a bit of a rumour that there was a, a slight injury to the thumb. Yep. 
It's obviously the reason why he's wearing it. Keep an eye on that. We'll go in the ruck contest again here to Truck. Front position four. Gets it down. Once again looking for Taylor. Trap does well. Release it to Perkins now to Franklin in the back pocket. Long releasing kick to the back flank. Thumped away by Vanderveld high up the ground. Handball comes out from Josh McGuinness to Hill back to Josh McGuinness. Little kick to Wiggins. Can't get on the half volley. Buttering up there is Hodge. Oh now missed that Matthew. Casey Brown has just gone bang straight up the middle of uh, Wiggins. There was nothing uh, bad about it I don't think. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, I think we've got to do it. Well, yeah. He's just splitting straight open. And uh, Wiggins has come up a little bit uh, a little bit sore. In the afters, it's now free kick to Conway for Launceston. Yeah, because that one was further forward than the other oh, free kick. Oh, and Kimberley could take the mark inside 50. He dropped it off the chest. It went rose high. And now it's going to be a ball up about 35, 40 metres out from Launceston's goal. They trailed by a point in playing 15, nearly 16 minutes into this second quarter tight contest he's a big strong boy Wiggins and Casey Brown has just got him an absolute ripper straight up the sternum there's a swarm of players just on uh, 50 there for uh, Launceston Thorpe gets it handballs out uh, quickly looking for Donnell who has been tackled too high I think and uh, goes to ground Thorpe doesn't like what's happening up there yeah, they reverse the player off and they will reverse it. Yes. Well, there's no need to rush in and do that, I wouldn't have thought. No, but the umpire just needs to say, don't be silly. Not just deserve the kick. Then they give it away. Oh, goodness. Well, he's being dealt with a little bit, but players do that these days. They just take, you know, that extra second or two to get up on one another, hold, just tag one another. It's quite common in the modern game. And there's the uh, kick along the centre wing position. Vanderfield almost got it. Ends up there with Brown. And back to the big, uh, strong bully, Conway. He puts it onto the left boot, goes towards half forward. It comes off the pack. Uh, Bistro is the Launceston player that made sure it went across the boundary line and was held in their forward line. The other interesting thing that matters is that Donnellan actually got his kick away when he got the high tech. And it yeah, could have been an advantage, I thought that. Advantage, yeah. Yeah. Look, the game's just stepped up half a cog here at the moment. The boys are battling in and uh, there's some strong tackles, some of them high, but... Uh, yeah, look, they're having a real crack at the moment, both these teams. Well, Fletcher Seymour's on the bottom of the pack. Comes out towards Battlefield. It's a fairly scrambly old play. Somehow the ball came out of that pack. There's about 20 of them there. Ends up with Brown. who gives the handball towards uh, a teammate who's been set upon by two Lauderdale players. And there'll be another uh, umpire's throw up here Casey on Brown again, wing. Casey Brown again, just decision-making. Didn't need the handball to a bloke standing short. Yep, Robbie a McManus and Fletcher Seymour go at it. There's something, uh, the umpires have lost a little bit of control here because they just uh, started the emotion. I think the umpire's going to get 50. But no, he's going to just give a Lauderdale free kick out of all that. Yeah, it was, uh, Seymour was a little bit lively on McManus, so that's where the free kick come from. Right, well, they'll go backwards, take it over the other side of the ground where Ethan Wishwilson uh, gets it out to uh, Trupp, and he kicks it deep out of defence, heading towards Baker. Baker marks on the half-back line for Lauderdale as they go down that outer wing. Nick Baker, back in his time. Goes in by the play on. Goes up the line here, looking for Saunders, impressed with him so far. Can't take the mark this time though. Hodge is caught, close to the boundary line. Out of bounds. Bounty throw in, far side. Tight contest, one point the difference. Only one goal apiece in this second quarter. Lots of some lead by point at quarter time. They're now trial by a point inside 50 this quarter. Six apiece. So wherever you look, we've got a real thriller on here today. It might go right down to the wire. Quick kick out of the contest, back to Baker, who takes the mark. Second mark in a minute for Nick Baker. He finds Raglione. Now this is the kick, they just haven't been able to connect. If they can't get it in deep, they've just got to go now. And you see they choose not to. Raglione to Sutton, barely the re regulation distance. Paid the mark though. He raises his hand to say, I'm going to go long. He does so. Inside 50, Vanderbilt's here. No. Nice mark. Casey Brown. Paranoia came in late. How does the umpire see this? Yep. 50 metres, grown from Mecca. Oh, Maybe thought it was a bit soft. Oh, it was, Karen Noir actually nearly fell over. And now here we go with Casey Brown. Maybe he's on the mark. He can play on. Two bounces. Over the top. I think that's Gillo. He releases inside. 50 looking for Thorpe. Nice kick advantage. Just a bit too far. Thorpe glares back. It's, uh, it's out of bounds. Right beside the behind post. Oh, these men in green at the moment. They want to be noticed, Baz. Their whistle's going flat out. And that definitely wasn't 50. Bounty throw in. As Thorpe just pushes uh, Trump out of the way, then snaps on goal. Not bad, Mitch Thorpe. 
Fades away to the right. We've got level scores once again here. It's a first score in a while. 4 5 29 apiece. 20 minutes gone. As the kick comes out in towards Anderton, who takes a good mark in the back pocket. Well, they just aren't working hard enough. They're half forwards, they're midfielders. They're uh, just not working hard enough. They've got uh, McGuinness down there. All they've got to do is get it into him, Baz, and he'll kick a bag. But at the moment, we'll get the inside 50s in a moment uh, from Groups. But I just don't think uh, they're getting it in, let alone uh, inside 30, as Darren Winter alluded to a quarter time. Give them to me, Foz. What are the inside 50s? Inside 50s is quarter, seven apiece. Yeah. Not deep enough, though, Lauderdales. Well, the Anderson kick was marked by Parapleman, who's uh, kicked it to the top of the goal square, has come off the uh, boot and gone sideways. And a minor score will be registered for Lontes and Joby Harper was uh, the player put boot the ball. And that uh, moves Lontes and along to four goals, 6-30. There's a one-point margin, 4-5-29. There was one point a quarter time. And we've played 20 and three-quarter minutes into this uh, second term. So it looks like being uh, really close again at half time. Nothing in this game. It's become a little bit more scrambly uh, in this uh, last 10 or 15 minutes than what it was in the opening term. But uh, very, very good defence from both sides. And then when they get clear, lovely long kicking. The ball has just been socketed off the ground in towards a halt of Launceston. Ricochets off the top of him and then go, goes back to where Seymour is. He kicks it out wide towards Thorpe. And Thorpe slides on all four and takes a mark 40 metres from goal. Deep in the forward pocket for the Blues. That's his fifth mark, of which four of them have been inside 50. If his midfielders could have hit him a couple of times, it could have been more. So a real handful at the moment for Darren Winter is Mitch Thorpe. So Thorpe. Taken, sorry, Matt, sorry yeah. he's taken four out of the six inside 50 marks that lots of them have taken. Yep, correct. So Mitch Thorpe kicked two goals in the opening quarter, kicked the first one for the Blues, kicked another one a little later on. Opportunity here to kick his third and become the major goal kicker on the ground. I reckon he's taken five of the six, actually. And he's uh, on his favoured right boot. Very deliberate, as he always is. Runs in, jabs at the ball a little bit. It might go a little bit to the left of the major goal post. It will indeed and through for a minor score. So he could have kicked, I reckon, four or five by now. He's missed a couple of shots. And uh, you've suggested he'll probably kick the next one if he gets another opportunity because he just doesn't keep on uh, missing them. From the kick, and it ends up with Bryce Walsh and uh, Lauderdale electing just to steady it down now as we go towards the dying minutes of this the second term. Kicks uh, a little pass into Nat Franklin. They bring it around this uh, broadcasting side of the ground. The target there was Siggins, but it was tapped away from him. Launceston's Vanderfield has it. Gets it off to Boyd. Boyd gives a straight back to the opposing player. The sleeves of Mitch Anderson has it now. Vanderbilt gets another quick uh, handball out and he gets it onto his uh, teammate in Tyrrell. Tyrrell gets it over a little bit further to Wright. Wright with the, with the boot now kicks towards half forward. Plenty of pushing and shoving going on up there. It's uh, trying to soccer it off the ground there was Killer Lee. His kick now goes somewhere towards uh, the half forward line and a, and a nice mark has been taken but by uh, Sutton out there as he gets it off to a teammate who kicks it downfield a little bit further to where Robbie McManus marks on half back. Gets the kick inside to Nat Franklin. Franklin uh, marks right in the centre of the ground. He looks out wide. What's he got out there? He's got a teammate running hard and fast down the outer wing. And he'll take possession uh, on centre wing. Josh McGuinness gets it up back to McManus. Over the top of the bell chamber who slips. Might allow Conway in. The ball bounces everywhere. Tyson Miller's in there. Now taken by Bryce Walsh. who's tackled from behind. Pressured off the kick. One of players want deliberate there. That is the umpire will lead this. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, dear. I thought, I thought that might have been a little bit rough. He was pressured off the kick, but they were a bit closer than us. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, he had nowhere else to go, didn't well, he? He's, ki he's getting tackled. He's kicking on his non opposite side. And, well, yeah, anyway. Brady Polferman up the line, off a few hands. Over the back here's Siggins. Gets the handball backwards. Chance now for Josh McGuinness. He switches. Here's Ethan Bush Wilson. Oh, 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 Let's Thorpe in. Taps it backwards. Blackberry. Now a little kick towards Holt, who had to wait, but he takes the mark well. Probably outside his scoring distance. Thought about playing on, he's got Blackberry, who's sneaking inside, 50. It goes further than him, though, and it's a good mark. Is that Harper, Matt? Yeah. Joby Harper. And we know uh, he can slot them from these sort of angles. He's sometimes not very confident right in front, but from the angles, I've well, seen him kick these. Lauderdale, a very disappointing four to the ball, Baz. They are indeed. That was a good mark by Grant Holt. He was under the pump yeah. there. He just held his body in the right position. That's resulted in a deliberate shot for Joby Harper. Joby Harper, about 40 out. Just inside the boundary line. Not a bad shot for goal. Joby Harper! That is a crucial goal in this contest. Just before half time.
takes the margin out to eight points. Five, seven, thirty-seven wants us to Lauderdale, four, five, twenty-nine. And that's the experience there, Macker, of J.B. Harper. Look, they deserve that goal because uh, they've had repeat inside 50s and their half-back line's holding up. And, uh, you know, it's just the deep one that's causing them any grief. But at the moment, Lauderdale can't get it deep. As uh, Jake Smith now goes all the way back to full-back on McGuinness. But, uh, yeah, look, their midfield's uh, doing well. And uh, this is where they were down at uh, Lauderdale in round two, uh, right in the game at half-time, Launceston. And, uh, yeah, they're playing really good footy. 25-minute mark of the second term. Heading towards the uh, the big break, half time. The umpire puts ball to turf. It's not all that uh, even. I wouldn't have thought so. You'll have to uh, toss it skyward for a secondary bounce. Back with uh, Smith and Leadham doing most of the ruck work here for their respective sides. Neither ruckman on top. They're both getting their fair share, but Leadham gets that one down there now towards uh, Fletcher Seymour. Set upon there by the Lauderdale players, and the umpire said, "I think we'll uh, bounce it up, my friend." Had no prior opportunity and they're going nowhere. So we'll put it skyward again. And uh, Smith, much more decisive uh, tap. Gets it off to Radvioni. He takes it with the right boot and then kicks inside 50. Looking for McGuinness. Oh, it almost slides right through. Smith's under the pump back here. But he, uh, oh, thought he was going to stand back and let that dribble through. The ball just stood on his hand. He picks it up and kicks it out of defence with the left boot. Big tap over the top, looking for Wiggins. Wiggins puts it onto the right boot, skews it to the top of the goal square. Ball bounces awkwardly. Ends up out there with McManus as the siren sounds to uh, end the first half here at Windsor Park. Launceston 5-7-37. Lauderdale 4-5-29 in a fairly low scoring game. There's a margin there of, uh, what's that, eight points at half time. So the goal kickers for the Launceston Blues. Mitch Thorpe has kicked a couple, both in the first quarter. Singles to James Gillow, Jay Blackbury and also Joby Harper. Whilst for Lauderdale, two to Ben McGuinness up forward there. Singles to Phil Bell Chambers and Ryan.